Soul Mag TV. Soul Mag TV. Soul Mag TV. What is it? What is it? Speaking on urban life. Soul Mag TV. Soul Mag TV. Welcome to Soul Mag TV where we're speaking on urban life. We're keeping Christ in the center of the conversation. And we're hitting you up from Tampa, Florida. We're at beautiful channel side today. We got a great show for you in store. We have some incredible artists that are with us today. An artist you probably know came out with his debut album in April of 2013, broke all records. His album did like 27,000 units in the first week. 27,000 copies were bought or downloaded or a whole nine yards. Um, just doing some incredible stuff, talented, he sings and he raps as well. If you don't know what I'm talking about yet, I'm talking about Andy Minio from New York City, represent Washington Heights. He's with us today on the show. And then we also were mixing it up a little bit today, not just hip hop, and, and Andy sings too a little bit, but we also got some spoken word today. We got Mysterious, a female spoken word artist, but she's not just a spoken word artist, she also rhymes, she models, she does art. She's very, very talented. So maybe you've never heard of her, but today we're gonna introduce you to her. You gotta get to know her. So we're excited you guys are with us today and we're gonna spark it off, sit down and talk to some of these artists, but you know how we do it. We gotta do ladies first. So stick around, Andy Minio is gonna be with us in just a little bit. But first off, we're gonna spark it with Mysterious and she's right here from Tampa, Florida. She actually goes to Crossover Church, so I'm able to see like her continue to grow in her relationship with Christ and in her artistry as well. She's part of the Remix Worship team, so she's regularly on the platform rhyming. She's regularly up there doing spoken word, doing her thing. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, check out Mysterious. Who inspired me to do spoken word um, actually was my father. Uh, my father is actually a well-known uh, jazz historian um, in Detroit. Uh, so just having that jazz background, um, that whole soul background growing up and just hearing that type of music, it kind of just placed it just in me. It kind of just became who I was. So as I got older, I started getting into, um, well, as I was younger, I started getting into like poetry and I started singing um, and I would start singing tunes such as from Marvin Gaye or from uh, Billie Holiday. So those are kind of like some of my inspirations, but number one, the root of everything was, was my father. My latest piece is entitled The Wilted Flower. Um, I was inspired to uh, write that piece uh, because a little bit about my past. Um, I didn't care about life uh, growing up. Um, I came from a single parent home um, and uh, it was just very tough for my mother to be able to raise us. Um, I was uh, seeing my father every once in a while. I kind of act out as I got older, uh, just in spite of because of their divorce and I no longer wanted to live. Um, I wanted to commit suicide. Um, I just felt like I was worthless. I felt like I was nothing. I felt like I didn't have a purpose. So that poem came in the midst of all that. Um, just pretty much just um, speaking about how the pain that I went through, the things that I experienced, but through God, he delivered me and he set me free. And he helped me realize that he died so I could live. And that was my purpose is to be able to um, serve among his kingdom and have life and um, live upon his glory. Uh, mysterious, um, that kind of came about where I'm really big on where I feel like when I write my lyrics and everything that I don't look at it as if I am the author behind it. I am the person that's writing it, uh, but God is the one who's actually, um, who is writing it for me, the Holy Spirit was inside me. Um, I always pray, I always fast, I always seek him first of what he wants me to say, his word, all I am is a vessel. So mysterious is kind of like anonymous. It's not about me. So I just kind of just go by mysterious where that's kind of like the only signature that you would see would be mysterious. Not not, not me, not, not Angie, Marie, but mysterious because I want him to get the glory. So that's where that comes from. I declare to believe only what God thinks of me. No longer will I believe in the lies of this society or the lies of what others think of me or what I think negatively about myself. Society says my weight is too big or too thin. Truth is, 
I am created in the image and likeness of God. I am his workmanship, product, and masterpiece, and with him I'm beloved. Others say I would never make it. Truth is, I am victorious, triumphant, and more than a conqueror, which isn't something that I have to strive for because it's already been given, because through Christ I can do all things. And I say, what is love if I never felt love? Truth is, God loves me unconditionally. He loves me when I was unlovable. He loved me when I was a sinner. So I declare to believe only what God thinks of me. No longer the lies of this society or the lies of what others think of me or what I think negatively about myself. It doesn't matter if society rejects me. God accepts me and he has chosen me eternally. For I'm in this world but I'm not this world. It doesn't matter if I mess up because my footsteps have been ordered by the Lord and I walk with them. I would not dash my foot against the stone and someone for the path before me that was crooked has now been made straight. And with this truth, I declare to believe only what God thinks of me. No longer the lies of this society or the lies of what others think of me or what I think negatively about myself. This is what I declare. We'll be right back with Reach Records' very own Andy Minio. 